How's it going everyone? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach entrepreneurs and go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through the concept of infinite banking. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of new videos. And also, have you checked us out on Patreon yet? Because Patreon is where we go in depth on infinite banking and we teach you the nitty gritty details that we don't teach anywhere else. So be sure to check us out on Patreon so that you can level up your infinite banking education. Yes, so the purpose of this video today is you've seen us go through uh, different scenarios where we talk about our rate of return. Now we want to show you exactly how we calculate that mm -hmm. by showing you a simple tool that we use to calculate those things. Exactly, so I am going to flip over to my computer screen and walk you through the calculators that we use so that you can figure out how to calculate your own rate of returns. Okay, I wanna take the time to show you all how to use this absolutely free tool called Easy Calculator. Now, Easy Calculator, you can download on your cell phone, regardless if it's Android or Apple, and you can also just go to their website if you are on your desktop or your laptop and be able to do the exact same calculations whether you're on the go or you're at home. Now, just to be clear, Darius and I are not getting any compensation by talking about Easy Calculator. This is a, just a tool that we use personally Personally, and we find it valuable, so we thought maybe you might find it valuable as well. All right, let's get started. In Google, all I'm going to do is type in Easy Calculator. And the first one that comes up is FN Calculator. So this is the Easy Calculator. This is actually the direct website, so I'm just going to click here. And what we are looking for is a TVM calculator. And what this stands for is time value money calculator. So you can calculate basically anything you can dream of with easy calculators. And that's why we like it because all of these calculators are here on the desktop. So it makes it super easy for us to calculate things because sometimes a traditional calculator just doesn't cut it. So the calculator that we want is a TVM calculator, which is a time money value calculator. So I'm just going to click on there and that is going to take me to my calculator. So this is pretty simple once we break everything down. So what I'm going to actually do is use the numbers regarding the videos that we've talked about in the past. So I don't know if you all have ever seen our video about how we made 36% by paying our rent. That's the first example that I'm going to go over with you right now. So let me sp explain each of these fields. So the very first field is present value. So what this means to you is what is the value of the item that you want to pay off? So in our instance, the value of our rent, because we paid it up for our, our term, which was 11 months, is $12,900. That's how much it was gonna cost for us to be able to pay it off. And the thing that you wanna make sure that you do here is you make it a negative, because when you make it a negative, this is a decreasing balance. So it's going to be going down every month. Now, the next part that you want to fill out here is the payment. So the payment is the regular payment that you would be making towards this purchase. So for us, our payment, which was our rent, is $1,400. And then next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip down to periods because periods is the time frame in which you're going to be paying this. And in this case, it's broken up into months. So for us, we're talking about an 11 month period. And what we want to do is we want to be able to calculate the rate, the rate of return. So all we do is we come over here to the rate button and click rate. And then it says 36.9%, which is huge because typically, all we ever do is basic math. So in this case, what I mean by basic math, if we just did 1,400 times 11, meaning the months or the periods, we get $15,400. And then we subtract that by 12,900, which was the present value or what would have been owed. And basically we have $2,500 back in our pocket. But what does that $2,500 actually mean when it comes to your rate of return? And so for us, when we were able to calculate that and realize that we made a 36.9% return just paying our rent, we were like, 
like, how else can we tr try to flip some profits in other ways? Because we also invested in real estate at the time and we never made 36.9% return in real estate. And this was just taking over expenses that we were already doing. So we wanted to make sure that we were able to provide this information for you all because it's important that you're able to calculate your rate of return because as opposed to just doing the simple math and figuring out what your savings was, let's take it a step further and figure out what that savings actually means in terms of your rate of return. Thank you so much for watching our video today. Hopefully it helped with your understanding of how to come up with quick numbers in calculating your rate of return, or be it business or personal usage. Mm -hmm. You have things at your fingertips that you can utilize right now that can help you for free. Exactly. So make sure that you check us out on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io and also head over to our Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash wealthnation. And always remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.